When you get to meet Jesus, your life has to change. Amen. Your life has to change the moment you meet Jesus. Because everyone that met Jesus in the Bible, they were ever changed. Hallelujah. Think about the apostles, the disciples of Jesus. They were just normal fishermen. But you know, the moment they met Christ, they were called what? Apostles. Meaning, if you meet Jesus, your life will never be the same again. Jesus came in contact with Peter. He changed his name and he said, your name is Caiaphas. Hallelujah. Praise God. The same Jesus. They met him and they were transformed. The same Jesus. He found me and made me a preacher. Hallelujah. Yeah. When people thought nothing good would come out of me. Jesus, I came to him, I met him, and I got transformed. Hallelujah. Praise God. It was the Samaritan woman. The Samaritan woman in John 4. You can read it at home, John 4. The Samaritan woman was found by Jesus at the well. And then Jesus knew of her sins. She said that, uh, go and get your husband, I will come and heal you. I'll come and give you water. And the woman said that I do not have a husband. And, and uh, Jesus said, that's right. You don't have one. Even the one that you have. Is, you had five husbands. And the one that you had is not even yours. Meaning that she has divorced, 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 divorced. Maybe some died, some she divorced. And then she was living in fornication. Hallelujah. But the moment she met Jesus, Jesus made her a preacher. She went to the village and began to evangelize, telling that they, she had met the Messiah. Praise the Lord. From a fornicator to a preacher. That's Jesus for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus did not condemn her. She said, you did well. You confessed that the one that you are with is not yours. Because she said, I have no husband. But Jesus knew that she was with somebody. That she's not supposed to be. Maybe you do you are with somebody that you are not supposed to do to be with. Jesus is calling you because He has got a plan for your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is calling you because He has got a plan for your life. Just like an ordinary woman, a Samaritan woman walking in the street of Samaria, there she met Jesus and transformed her immediately to a preacher. Let me tell you that very same woman caused the whole village to come to Jesus. The Bible says the whole village came to Jesus. And they believed. They became believers because one woman was transformed from a fornicator to a preacher. Hallelujah. And Jesus wants to do the same thing with you today. He wants to transform you. Praise God. From someone who has no aim in this life to someone with a with a purpose in this life. To someone where people look down over you. To somebody who knows Shironga Monkara Munyumu. Karunga yes so kakara kweta erun duruko monkara munyo sashkeke gumwe a di ean mea oya moru karana yes. You know, face to face with Jesus was ever transformed. Even the dead became alive when they met Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. We talk about the woman, John 5. It's a man. For 38 years, he was sick. Could not even walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could not walk, John 5. At the pool of Bethesda there. Hallelujah. Year to years, he tried to get healed, but he was never getting healed. He had the limitation to go first into the pool. But Jesus came. Hallelujah. But Jesus came. And when Jesus came, Jesus asked, what do you want? And the man gave the reason what he wanted. Jesus said, rise, take up your bed and walk. And his life was never the same again. Hallelujah. Because back then they had they had hospitals. Because look who the book of Luke that Luke, Luke was a doctor. 
He was a disciple, but he was a doctor. Even when he met Jesus, Araba Shata, think about it that he was a doctor, but he became a disciple of Jesus Christ. He started to write books. He wrote the book of Luke, and he also wrote the, uh, he wrote the book of, of, of the Act, the Act of the Apostle. It is the doctor that wrote it. Uh, because when he came in contact with Jesus, uh, everything changed, hallelujah. And he became a writer. And today we are using the book of Act to see the miracles that Jesus did because a certain doctor encounter Jesus hallelujah praise God not only the poor even the rich were affected hallelujah and this Christ the same yesterday today and forever if you give him a go your life I tell you the truth will never be the same again and it's just like that hallelujah praise God amen and then we've got in the Bible the nobleman whose son was sick. The son was sick unto death. In fact, people said your son has died. But you know what? Jesus never even reached to that boy. Jesus only spoke a word. Ah. Even a word from Jesus. Your life will never be the same again. It was a word that was spoken, but the Bible said the man believed. Uh -huh. What is the key? Is to believe. Many people here, we speak the word of God, but your heart does not see that it's God speaking. God speak through his servants. Hallelujah. Praise God. God speak his will for that day to his servants. Hallelujah. For no man have seen God anyway. But God has got servants, representative of God are in the earth. And they are speaking the word of the Lord. In this time, it was Christ that spoke and said, Your son liveth. All that he said was that, Your son lives. Then the men believed. As he went to the, the word of God is so powerful. That once it's spoken, there is a power that makes it happen. Now what happened is, Jesus spoke the word. And that the power behind that word went straight to the child before the father. And the child was ever healed. Hallelujah. Because he met what? The father met Jesus. You do when you meet Jesus, your house never be the same again. Hallelujah. Your children are blessed to have a father or a mother who know Jesus. Praise God. You cannot have a car and a car that can query you. You rise and you rebuke that devil because you know Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says again in John. I'll read John 8. Seven, I'm not going to read. I'm just going to pray. Adulterous woman. This one was very caught in adultery. How do you call adultery? adultery in a show? But you know what? Jesus said to her, Woman, you know what? They brought her to Jesus. And Jesus extended mercy. She was going to be dead that day. Yeah, they were ready to stone him. In fact, I saw you as a no man. So according to the law of Moses, she ought to die and not to live. She met Jesus. She encountered mercy. Jesus is a son of mercy. Jesus is mercy. And then Jesus extended mercy. That woman was preserved. Her life was preserved. Hallelujah. And you know what Jesus said to her at the end? I think that's verse 11 to verse uh, 11 and 12. Jesus said, now that you have encountered me, Go and sin no more. Praise God. And what did she become? She became a saint, a child of God. She became a follower of God. She was condemned to death. Many of people are condemned to death. Hallelujah. Some of you, your family have cut you off. And the monarch the Nanjita, Bungaya, family, and the Kapolina, and the Kapolina, and the Kapolina, and the Hey, come to Jesus. There is mercy for you. Hallelujah. I ended up There is mercy waiting for you so that you can receive the life that God has predestined for you. Amen. 
You don't need to go in shame anymore. Jesus Christ came to give mercy to whosoever desire of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then there was another there was another guy in John 9, the blind man that was born blind. What is your problem? This one was born blind. Amen. Then he encountered Jesus. And Jesus healed his eyes. And you know what this man ended up doing? He went to the court and began to proclaim the gospel. What the Lord has done for me. No one can steal it from me. He spoke to the high people in court and told them that, they, that Jesus Christ is Lord and is a prophet that sent from heaven. Hallelujah. Praise God. Everyone didn't care with him. But the time he got healed, he became so famous. Hallelujah. His healing brought fame to him that even he got the attention of the elders in the council. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the end of the day, they ended up what? Asking him. And he ended up preaching to them, telling that there is a prophet who gave me sight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, my brethren, let me tell you. Where are you? Get in touch with Jesus. And your life will ever be meaningful. I don't mean to go to church. I mean to know Jesus personally. To have a, a connection with him. To have a true relationship with him. To walk with him. To know from your heart to his heart you are one. Hallelujah. And you will transform your life. Whether you are quiet and get on wood, put it on and when you're puppy, God fire will make you to talk. Amen. There is a fire that burns within you. Like Jeremiah said, like fire shut up in my bones. I cannot keep quiet. Hallelujah. But proclaim the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. David say, I will hear my voice screaming unto the unrighteous, telling them the way of the Lord. It doesn't matter what type of character you have. If the fire catch on you, you cannot keep quiet. You will have to run with that fire. Because that fire you need to dispatch it. You need to give it some way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These things are for us. The scripture say, and the promises are unto us and to our children. And as many as the Lord our God is going to call. Praise God. This is not for it. The Holy Ghost is not for it. The Holy Ghost is sent for us. We human beings that believe in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You are too quiet. Are you not hearing me? Amen. Praise God. And then we've got Lazarus who was resurrected after four days. When you meet Jesus, even when you are dead, when you meet Jesus, even when you are dead, you become alive. Hallelujah. One guy, I think it's in the book of Luke, the mother of the Just because they were in what? Popepina Jesus. Jesus felt compassion over the mother and went and touched Oshiketha. The boy rose from the dead because they were in contact with Jesus. That sorrow of the mother was ever changed. And it was changed to joy. Hallelujah. When you meet Jesus, I tell you, this is the same Christ that rose from the dead. This is the lion of the tribe of Judah who has prevailed before all angels who was found worthy to take the scroll from the Father and to open it. Only he, when you meet him, your life will never be the same again. I tell you the truth. Hallelujah. Even the dead become alive. It was in, in Nigeria. Gondo those days, I think it was 96 or so. Renard Bonke came to Nigeria. And there was a woman with a, such a stubborn face. The husband died. The husband was a pastor. It's there on YouTube. Raised from the dead. Reynold Bonke. If you put it, you find it. The, I think the man was David Okochuku. He was a pastor. Now, when he was a pastor, he died on his... Uh, he hit an accident. And I think it harmed his chest. And he died. 
When he died, they put him in mortuary for three days. Hallelujah. The woman could not give up. The woman received the word in the beginning of the year. That very word that is in the book of Hebrew that says, even the woman received up their debt. Their debt came back to life. She held on to that. And they said, take my husband to Reinhard Bunker Crusade. And the people were fighting. The, the father did not at first wanted to do that. But she insisted, I want my husband to go to the crusade. When they entered the crusade, when they came to the crusade, the people had the problem because they don't know. Maybe, you know, in Nigeria, sometimes they have bombs and they say it's a person. Now they were there for some time, uh, you know, just trying to negotiate so that the body can come into the, where the presence of the Lord is. Hey, the presence of Jesus is. Then from there, they finally allowed the casket. And then they said, we cannot take Let's take it under the basement. They put it in the basement. Let's take it to the basement. And the pastor, some of the pastors came, took the body out of the casket. And for three days, and they began to pray. That DVD is there. So I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the I'm going to the The man set up. Then he started to ask, Where's my file? So I And then they gave him water. He's alive until today. Praise the Lord. When you meet Jesus, this is the same Jesus we are preaching. Praise God. One woman with stubborn faith could just not let go of her husband. And she stood in faith. She said, there is a crusade. I'm sure the presence of Jesus is there. And I'm here to take this man. And this man will come back to life. And surely it was. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even in Lazarus, it was the sisters. The sister cried out. And they went and sought for Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. They found him and they told him, good child, the one you love, one of your child, Jesus, is dead. Jesus took some time. Immediately. Does not mean Jesus is not coming to do it. Jesus is not a liar. Praise God. And then from there, last, Jesus came. And all Jesus did is say, remove the stone. And they removed the stone. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, wake up from the dead. Four days. God doesn't care whether you are stinch or whatever. God is God. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for him. He said, come forth. Lazarus came. Then Jesus said, loose him. Let him go. Praise the Lord. When you meet Jesus, your life must not remain the same. If you were a drunkard, you must get a testimony that you are sober now. Hallelujah. If you are a fornicator, you must get a testimony. You are no more a fornicator, but you are now a saint of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you still, you get a testimony that you are a decent and orderly man and women. Hallelujah. After you encounter the Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now we read in John 4. I'm going to read this. John 4 verse 13. I'm just about to finish now. Jesus answered and said to her. John 4 verse 13. This is he was talking to the woman at the well. The Samaritan woman who became Hayarabashata. Who became a preacher of the whole village. Harabashata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, he will give you a boldness. God will give you a boldness. A boldness that you will be able to speak to anyone that comes before you. A boldness to speak to your bosses. A boldness to speak to your family. A boldness to speak Mongunda when you mean. A boldness to speak me when you mean. A boldness. Hallelujah. In those days, women were not counted. Amen. Women were not counted. But this woman went and convinced the whole village. Say there is power when you meet Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says, when Jesus answered and said to her, 
whoever drink of this water will thirst again nguta no mea guyo ningu otakara senota otwaza kutonto kuni mari washiri maro takongo shike natango is because nothing in this world will satisfy your soul your soul is created to be satisfied by his own maker god almighty hallelujah nothing riches will not satisfy you sleeping around will not satisfy you having the best uh, beautiful wife will not satisfy you having a handsome husband will not satisfy you having the beautiful cute little children will not satisfy you having money will not satisfy you staying in rookie dove in rookie's dove will not satisfy you driving a machete benz will not satisfy you you will still empty with those things because those things are every hallelujah they are not spiritual your soul is spiritual amen Hallelujah. That's why you see the rich people, they are on cocaine. The rich people, they are on daha. Why when you have so much money? The celebrity that we are keep looking at them, they are mad. Can you not see them walking naked? What are they looking for? If it was fame, everybody knows them in the world, but they are still crazy. One day I was I was I, I, told, I saw on Facebook. I saw one guy called Lil Wayne. I said, "What are the people? How can you listen to that guy?" his head the the clothes is wearing i i i what what how would that guy really like become your role model that guy is crazy he is sick yet he has money apparently he bought his child millions of houses who cares there's something that is missing in his soul jesus that's why they are ever looking for things they don't know what it is they want they try to put tattoo everywhere in their body they are still not happy they try to be women they are still not happy they change even their body they are still not happy they sometimes some some of the people they they become women today they go back again to the, they are still not happy everyone knows them on 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 youtube they are still not happy because only one man your creator supposed to fill that very space in your soul when you have him you will find satisfaction i promise you you will find it just that christian don't seek their god just like christian we've got too many things we love we love we have too many idols but when you narrow your heart to find god you don't need anything here you don't even need someone to tell you that i love you to feel good you are already feeling good because christ has told you that you are my own Hallelujah. You are my own. I'll protect you. I'll care for you. I'll be with you until the end of this age. You are not an orphan. My eyes are on you. When someone keep telling you that, no matter what what life throws at you, you know that my redeemer lives. You know I am not an orphan. You know God has me covered. But when you don't know that, you try to be everything. You try to seek approval for people from people. You try to be confused when you don't need to be confused. You think that it's money that is going to make you happy. It's not money. People have money but they are stressed. Ask them. Hallelujah. Satisfaction of the soul come from God. You have to know that and you must believe that. Praise the Lord. He said, you will be thirst again when you drink the water of this world. The water of this world could be riches. The water of this world could be fame. The what out some people try to sleep with so many women in a day you just see that's like a dog is no more a person that one yet what, how come you were not satisfied yesterday when you slept with 10 of them praise god how come today you are still looking for because it does not bring satisfaction it just cruise it make you a crook in your head amen this order order bring satisfaction order praise god you are not a dog You are human being. Even some girls are like that. You cannot be like that. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. It's not a temple of 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 sexual immoralities. Hallelujah. Praise God. You we cannot worship the thing. We cannot worship on beti that we go worshiping on miraro. Praise the Lord. We worship God only. Amen. Some people think that because maybe they no 
Serve the Lord your God. He say he'll give you the desires of your heart. He knows what you need and he'll give it to you in the beautiful time. Praise God. We must be free from worldly affection, including food. Hallelujah. That doesn't mean we don't eat, we eat. But we are not ruled by food. We are ruled by Christ. That's the reason why we lack power. Because we are ruled by the things of this world. Hallelujah. Say, but whoever drinks of the water, hallelujah, that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, of, of, of water springing up into everlasting life. Say, praise the Lord. Whoever will drink of that water, hey, there will be life in you. At work, they will ask for your counsel. Hallelujah. They will respect you because there is something that is emanating from you. There is life. Listen, when you are a child of God and there is no life in you, do something about your life and get angry. Something needs to happen. You must be a life-giving person because Christ is in you. You have drank of his water. Hallelujah. Therefore, you must matter in your family. You must matter. You must be the prince. You must be the prophet of that, of that family. If you are a teacher, you are the principal of them. Let your light so shine. Amen. That men will see it and give glory to God. This thing is not only for some people. It's for every child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. For every child of God. Educated, uneducated. Married or unmarried. Children or no children. Hallelujah. Speaking English or not speaking English. Praise the Lord. If you can meet him. If you meet Jesus. He will make you a wonder. Think about Peter. Peter had got a very funny character. But he became a mighty apostle. That Jesus Christ committed the church in Jerusalem, the Jews, to Peter. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. There is a fountain that needs to spring out of us. A fountain of living water. A fountain of hope to the hopeless. Hallelujah. A fountain of wisdom. A fountain of courage. A fountain of the Holy Ghost in us. Do you believe? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says John 7 verse 37 there. That will be my last. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried saying, If anyone thirst, let him come to me. Hallelujah. If you desire this life I'm talking about, Ayaramashata, this life that has brought joy in my life, this life that has brought purpose in my life, this life that gave me hope for tomorrow, this life that speaks of the kingdom of the Lord, you must be thirst and you must be hungry for it. You must desire it. It comes by desire. The Bible says here, on the last great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out and saying, If anyone is thirst, let him come and drink. And today the same invitation is coming to you, my brethren. If you are thirsty, come to Jesus and begin to drink. Hallelujah. Praise God. Drink the water. The water of life. So that you don't need to be thirsty anymore. The people that drink normal water, the people that drink the water of this world, look, they are ever thirst. But this one, Jesus said, you will never thirst again. But out of you shall flows water of fountains of water. You know what is fountains? Not only one fountain. Fountain. Healing, prophecy, encouragement, hallelujah, preaching, giving hope. It's a lot of fountains that must flow out of us. Praise God. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of him, out of his heart, shall flow rivers of living water. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Would you stand up and begin to ask God?
He, he has given us an invitation to come. You can give him to play. You are playing nice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Begin to talk.